What's up guys, it's Code here, and today in this video we're going to be talking about a brand new exploit that was just released by Adam Dunnenfeld. Now this is an exploit that Adam's been talking about for a while now, and something that a lot of jailbreakers are anxiously waiting to get their hands on to see exactly what it is. Well, it turns out that this is a very powerful exploit. He's calling it Ziva, and it's a fully chained iOS kernel exploit for any device running on iOS 10.3.1 or earlier. Now in his blog post he goes on to explain that this exploit was actually a culmination of several vulnerabilities, all that were discovered in a specific module, which was the Apple AVE driver. Now if you're more interested in how this vulnerability was discovered, what it is, and how it works, then I'll be sure to leave the blog post down in the description below. You guys can just click on it, check it out for yourself, but I have a sneaky suspicion that a lot of you guys are just wanting to know, when's the jailbreak coming out? Is there going to be a jailbreak coming out? ETA, son. Now, if you look into this at all, there's actually a lot of talk about KPP or the kernel patch protection. Now, this exploit is supposedly powerful enough that it doesn't need to mess with KPP at all. So it completely bypasses that altogether. But don't be confused. This is just an exploit. This is not a jailbreak. But Adam says in a tweet that if anybody is willing to wrap this exploit up into a jailbreak, he is more than happy to help them do so. So yes, we have an exploit, but right now what we need is jailbreak developers that we're going to work together and work with Adam in order to take this exploit and bring it to its full potential, which would obviously be a jailbreak for all devices on iOS 10.3.1 and below. So when will the jailbreak come? Well, that's an impossible question to answer, mostly because this exploit literally came out just a couple of hours ago and we don't know what jailbreak devs are actually going to seriously take a look at this and try to turn it into a jailbreak with the help of Adam. So in theory, this jailbreak would work on any device, including the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, running iOS 10.3.1 or lower. Now I know there's a lot of people on iOS 10.3.2 right now that are really bummed, but it goes without saying at all times, always stay on the lowest firmware you can possibly stay on if you're looking to jailbreak your device at any time in the future. So unfortunately, if you are on iOS 10.3.2, this is probably not the best news that you'd like to hear. So huge shout out to Adam for finding this exploit and then actually documenting the entire thing incredibly well. I'm really hopeful that we'll actually see a jailbreak in the near future, so let's just cross our fingers, be patient, and let's just see what happens. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just wanted to stay on top of this as closely as possible because I was really looking forward to Adam releasing his exploit because there was a whole lot of build up to it. But the good news is, is that we're moving in the right direction. We have a very powerful exploit. We know we're gonna find some jailbreak devs that are willing to work on this and utilize that exploit. So the only question remaining is how quickly is this going to be brought to market? And I'm hoping that it's gonna be sooner rather than later. All right, guys, I just wanted to make a quick, short video to keep you guys up to date with this whole jailbreak situation. And I, when I saw that it was released a couple hours ago, I figured, hey, let's do a quick video, keep you guys in the loop, and let you know what's going on. So if you guys enjoy these quick little jailbreak update videos, make sure you hit that like button to let me know that you guys wanna see more of these. If you don't wanna see them, feel free to hit that thumbs down button, and I'll take a hint. All right, guys, if you wanna stay up to date with everything jailbreak, Apple, or tech-related, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.